Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, just following this yellow line here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. I'm in a cemetery right now. It's freezing cold in this cemetery here on the Daily Woo. Why am I following this yellow line and why am I freezing? The reason I'm freezing is I don't have a jacket on. All I have is this little hoodie. I need a big thick coat, but all I have on is this hoodie and no gloves and I am freezing cold in the cemetery out here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's so cold. I'm following this line. They've drawn a line on the ground leading to the grave of one of Kentucky's favorite sons. If you've ever eaten fast food, then you know who I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you in a second, but I know you already know, because you've probably already seen up here where I posted the title of the video. But keep me entertained and pretend that you don't know, and let's play a guessing game. Kentucky's favorite son, fast food. You know who I'm talking about, and if you don't, let me give you some information right here. Information. The premises are under surveillance by private security personnel. They have security out here at this cemetery. Here's a piece of paperwork letting you know where I am. The Cave Hill Cemetery. Cave Hill Cemetery, right there. That's where I am. Let me put the information back so that other people that come out here can be informed. Right there. Speaking of security, when I came in the front entrance and I parked my van over by the grave I'm going to show you in a minute, there was actually a security guard asking what I was doing out here. And when I told him I was coming to this particular grave, he said, okay, that's good. We've actually had some thieves out here recently that have stole some of the bronze toppings to some of the cemetery pieces. Some of these over here. We have some thieves out here. Can you believe people will come to a cemetery and actually steal things off the gravestones? And the markers. That's definitely a shame. Now they have security at the front gate coming into the cemetery, but you are allowed in here. All you have to do is just let them know where you're going. Follow this line till it ends up. It ended, which can only mean one thing. That's right. Kentucky fast food. You know who it is. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I've never been hungry in a cemetery before. There's a first time for everything. That's the reason. I'm showing you this. Ba -ba -ba. It's the grave of Colonel Sanders. Right there. Colonel Sanders. Have you ever eaten at a KFC? That's Kentucky Fried Chicken to you and me. Well, if you have, the man who created the empire is buried right there. Here in Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. And this is his grave. I thought it would be very interesting to come out here and show you where this guy was actually laid to rest, right here, next to his wife, underneath that gravestone and this monument that has been created for the man. Let's get an up close, personal view with Mr. Colonel Sanders. Let's take a look. He's buried down below here with his wife. His wife also made this bust of him before she passed away, he passed away first. She created the bus which became placed here when they buried him. And then years later, she was buried here. So now he's buried next to his wife right here. Over here is actually his daughter as well. Margaret Josephine Sanders. She died in 2001. She was the daughter of Colonel Sanders and Josephine King Sanders. So his daughter is actually buried right next to him and his wife. I believe he was married twice. I think the daughter could be incorrect in this. Maybe you guys could Google some research or maybe if you're an expertise on Colonel Sanders more than I am, you could tell me that maybe his daughter was not the daughter of his past wife, the future wife. I think it was the first wife. I could be incorrect in that. Don't hold me to it. My brain is not functioning correctly because it's very cold out here, but I thought since I was in the Kentucky area, Louisville area, passing through Louisville, Kentucky, that I would stop off here and show you the grave.
Very cool. I've seen a few other graves. I've been to a lot of different graves, some famous people with gravestones. And I've always noticed that usually a popular grave, that either, either a person that's a celebrity or a lot of military people will have these pennies placed all around. Dimes and pennies. Do you guys know what the significance of the dimes and the pennies are? Is it a military thing? Or is it just something that people just leave for either people that they are... They are in admiration of, if they admire them. I'm really curious about what the pennies mean. I visited Jim Varney's grave about a year ago, if you remember correctly. He was a big childhood, um, I was a big childhood fan of his, one of my idols, Jim Varney. And I actually left a penny on a piece of paper, left him a little note. I paid my respects to Jim Varney. And you can see people here have paid their respects to Colonel Sanders as well. Also, I was going to wondering, I was curious, man, I really cannot functionally think correctly. It is so cold out here. But I was curious, do the pennies have anything to do with these symbols? What are these symbols? Do you guys know what those are? Leave some comments down below if you know what signals those are. I really have to say... I have not communicated correctly in this vlog very well because it is freezing. My lips are numb. My hands are numb. So I probably probably am not very coherent today, but it doesn't matter. Wanted to show you this. The grave of Colonel Sanders. Right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty neat. Oh, I'm also going to let you guys know, did you know that Colonel Sanders was basically flat broke till he was in his mid-60s? I think he was 1965-ish, around there, before the KFC empire took off. So just imagine that. He was at retirement age, and he was flat broke, and then all of a sudden, we have the Colonel! Everybody knows as the Colonel! I mean, he existed for 65 years before that, but what you and I know as the Colonel did not begin until retirement age for most people. So just think about that. Never get up, give up, never get up, or give up, or get down. If you're gonna get down, make sure you get up, but don't give up on your dreams because you might be an old man, a 65 year old guy, before all of a sudden you become a franchising fast food empire guru, like the Colonel. Pretty cool right here, the Colonel. I'll let you guys go. Check down below for my t-shirts. I'm going to get back out of here. I should probably follow that back out there, back down that line. They've actually painted a line. I guess so many people love them out here. They painted a line on the ground. All right. See you guys later. Goodbye.